Hi everyone, it's Gabrielle Carolina from the Mod Hodge Bookshelf, and you are back in my mailbox. Welcome. This week I have a really exciting book to show you guys, and you're all going to want to come steal from me, um, possibly, you know, off me to get it. It's, um, um, try not to be bitter, and try not to be blue, because I got bitter blue by Kristen Kishore. I have no idea what's up with the YouTube camera this 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 week, but I look squished and this looks like an audiobook, <laughs> but it's not. It's not. It's big. It's a um it's a book. It's the first blogger arc, we think. Me and Andy and Monday Moms, Andy Reading Teen, Monday Moms, Michelle Ball, I like took a finger away. I can't hold up more fingers, it seems. Um, Michelle Ball hooked to books. We were all talking about it, and we haven't seen it around. And so we think I got the first um, blogger arc, which is very exciting. I won it from Penguin. I didn't know I was getting it. I won. I'll show you what I won in a second. I won. Here's what I won. I won a signed copy of Crossed by Ali Condi. And I'm so excited it's signed because my match is signed. It's signed and personalized. But now my cross matches my matched. It's a match. Yay. Um, so I won cross. This looks like an audiobook too. It's not. It's really tall and long. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. My face must look really squished too. Um so I won this, and then they said that they were sending along like a surprise something too, and surprise! So, totally freaked out. Not gonna lie. There was screaming, there was crying, there was tweeting, there was like multiple picture taking. You can go check out my Twitter to see pictures of me with Bitter Blue from a week ago. There was just a lot of love up in this place, except from other people. There was a lot of like, I'm gonna kill you. Um, Andy. Looking at you. Okay, so, now that y'all are perfectly envious and green, except blue, you're blue and green. You look like the earth. Congrats. Um, now <laughs> I'm going to share with you the one other book I got for review. I got Dead to You by Lisa McMahon. Again, it looks like a little audiobook. It's not. Here's the pub sheet just to prove it to you. Um, Dead to You is her first non-paranormal about a boy who's kidnapped, then he gets returned home, um, but there's something that's keeping his memory blocked, something unspeakable. And so let's see if I get this right. I don't know. There we go. So snow on the face, that's becoming trendy. We've seen a couple of covers like that, haven't we? I might have to do a cover lover post about it. Okay, so I also just added Lisa's newest book called Crash onto the Goodreads, and so you should go check that out. She and I were tweeting about it yesterday. Um, yeah, I'm so excited. Now I have all of the Lisa McMahon books again. So, very happy. Then I went to my local Half Price bookstore and gave them a bunch of my books. And they gave me, they gave me some credit in return, so I went on a little mini shopping spree. I got Irish Tales by Joseph Jacobs. And this is just like researchy kind of stuff. Um, and I know some of these, but you know, never know when inspiration will strike. And I need some of this for a current WIP. I always want to say whip, but then I'm worried I'll be like wanting to do the sound effect like whoop, like, like very, um, very, uh, very Bing. What's his name? Chandler. Very Chandler Bing. Like whoop -ha! <laughs> So that's why I wasn't going to go there, and then I did anyway. Um, shh. There. Kind of redeemed myself a little. Okay, I also got Patience Princess Catherine by Carolyn Meyer, and this completes woo -woo, my Young Royal series. I'm so excited. Of course, she's coming out with two more books this year in the series, but whatever. This, for now, completes it. Now I have all of them, and I can't tell you how much. I mean, Carolyn Meyer's books are one of the many reasons I read now. She was one of those authors that was there before a lot of YA was there. 
and she wrote these great historical fiction novels and they're fantastic and I think her books I think that they're right there somewhere anyway I also got The Thief by Megan Whelan Turner. I have one of the books in the series, the newest one, but I've been wanting to read these for a long time, and I don't have any of them, so now I'm reading the first one. So, very exciting. I don't know. I don't know if I need to explain this to you guys. It's a very popular series, so. I also got Kate of the Lost Colony by Lisa Klein. This is, she's one of my favorite authors. She wrote Ophelia. It's fantastic. And... Look at the pretty hand cut pages and all that. Oh, I just love it. So this is about um, a girl who's part of the Lost Colony. Um, if you guys don't know what that is, it's at Roanoke in North Carolina. and Or North Carolina or Virginia. I think that's been debated. Something. Um, I did a project on this in high school, so I should probably know more. But shh. Um, so yeah, that's about right. I also got a couple of Virginia Woolf novels because I recently watched The Hours. That was fantastic. So now I'm utterly obsessed with her. And I'm also wanting to get The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. Doesn't that sound incredible? And I need to read some Emily Dickinson. I'm trying to make up for my lack of really good novel reading in um, high school. Because I moved around so much, I like avoided all the crappy classic novels that you that everyone has to read and so now I get to pick which ones I want to read um but you know so now I'm having to go after them so tell me other really good classic novels I've got like Tess of the D'Urbervilles I've got all the awesome novels um I love Wuthering Heights and Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier um yeah let me know okay now to end this squished IMM I shall read you the first sentence of Bitter Blue, and if you don't want to hear it for whatever reason, then turn it off now. Alright, so you want to hear it. I don't blame you. I wanted to, too, so I, I decided I'd share it. It's from the prologue. When he grabs Mama's wrist and yanks her towards the wall hanging like that, it must hurt. Happy reading! I know I'll be happy reading, and let me know what you've got in your mailbox. Merry Christmas!